You are watching The Garden Corner Show. We are a show, of course, where we're crazy passionate about everything gardening that we know of. I am J-Dog. We're very, very real. j Dog, John Carstroom. I'm out here with Mr. Dave. We are over here at Cedar Glen Nursery and Floral, and Cherie and Aaron are nowhere to be found. They're probably over in the location in Gresham. As a matter of fact, they are. Um, but we're gonna. We're, we are plant hunting, looking for the coolest, latest, greatest, neatest looking plants around. But a quick shout out to a very special person. I've got to read you a letter I received in the mail today. Um, it is. Take a look. Take a look. Can you see that? Now this is quite a letter. I am just so impressed. And when you get a letter like this, you, you just don't get letters like these these days. So I've got to read that. You know, a little pink flower, some sunlight, blooms. You've got my attention. So here it goes. Dear John Carsaboom and the team at the Garden Corner. You can call me j Doc. Um, hi, my name is Sophie Cyril. And I'm a fourth grade student at Tualatin Elementary in Mrs. in Miss Hop's class. Hi, Sophie. Hey, our school has decided that we would make a school garden. Great idea. We've been working on this for a number of months. And after all these months, we're finally having our groundbreaking ceremony. Wow, a groundbreaking ceremony. Celebrate every step of the way, Sophie. Great job. Um, we are also going to bury a time capsule. That's very cool. Hey, Sophie, you are on to something. Uh, since you guys are such a big deal with gardening, I like that, <laughs> we would like to invite you to our groundbreaking ceremony. The reason I'm inviting you to our groundbreaking ceremony is because we would love to have you there. That's a good reason, don't you think so? At the groundbreaking ceremony, one person from each class is going to break the ground. Good thinking. If you can attend the groundbreaking ceremony, it will be held at the school on Friday, February 26, uh, 2010 at 1.40 p.m. This is very exact. Boy, I am totally ex thrilled and excited so far. However, if you cannot attend, teachers and adults will have a work party the next day, February 27th, 2010, Saturday, from 9 to 12. Oh, that's the work party of things. <laughs> the adults will be building the beds that flowers will go on top of and putting the soil into the beds. So you can always attend this instead. <laughs> uh, thank, thank you for the time. Thank, thank, you thank you for taking your time to read this letter. Please RSVP by calling the school office at 503-431-4800. Sincerely, Sophie Cyril. Wow, Sophie, thank you very much. You deserve a shout out all your own. You better believe I'm going to be there. A groundbreaking ceremony. This sounds like a big deal. And kudos to you, by the way, uh, Tualatin Elementary, teaching folks about gardening can change your life. <laughs> anyway, back to plants. I want to get right to it. Um, found some very, very cool plants out here, and let's go over it one by one, shall we? Um, let me tell you. Now, we're still in a little bit early months, and I just want to show you kind of what's cooking and some options that you can put in your containers for later on. Agave Blue Glow. Take a look at that. Isn't that just neat? It's got these really sharp, sharp agaves generally have these really hard, sharp, uh, pointer, pointing things, thorns that, but boy, they are beautiful to look at. So that's Agave Blue Glow. Um, we've got a t uh, several types of sedum. This is sedum ogon. Take a look. Boy, just trails nicely. Beautiful, cute little leaves. I can see that just um, accenting a container nicely. Uh, this one here is sedum sea urchin. I think that's a really neat name for this one too. It really kind of looks like a sea urchin, don't you think? 
Yeah, Mr. Dave's nodding his head. So, um, and I see it has also a little bit of few um, weird colorings in there as well. Another type of. Uh, uh, another type of sedum and succulent. I don't have a clue what this one is, but boy, it's always very, very cool, just especially for that structure on there. So take a look at there. And uh, creeping wire vine. Creeping wire vine, if you've never used this in your containers, really is a cutting edge plant. What this does, it's, it's not a really heavy, full trailer it kind of trails just naturally scraggly but just adds a little fine detail to your container when you have some big bold things in it as well think agave and your creeping wire vine just a nice contrast like that so something big and bold and something fine and loose so but amongst that and then by the way also just this is a grower's flat and Aaron I'm sure is going to transplant this but this just gave me some ideas wouldn't that look great in a container uh, symmetrical like that or even in a landscape so just something just something neat another type of uh, another type of succulent so um, but put this all together and some you get some really cutting edge type of planters that really require very, very minimal care. Now, um, uh, we went over Caprosma the other day on, on a variety, and there's lots of different varieties of Caprosma. This is a great container for hot sun, low maintenance. You can see there's not much um, volume to that, but it's got some succulents in there, that sea urchin, uh, sea urchin um, sedum, uh, different types of sedum as well. There's the angelina that's going to trail off nicely. So you, you can just see it's got that arctic blue sedum in it as well. So, But if you're looking for some low maintenance stuff, sedums and succulents may be your thing. Take a look at that. Let me show you some other things. You can make them, oops, 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 into a hanging basket. Look at that. So we've got, now this is going to be a great shade basket when this really fills in. It's still on the early side, but I'm just letting you know about what's around there. We've got some different types of Lismachia, trail nicely, great contrasting foliage, especially in the shade because you get that creeping jenny that turns very, very golden. Uh, we've got this Dutch clover. I completely forgot the botanical name. I apologize, but it's a type of Dutch clover. Great ground cover, but also can give you some height. I've got a holly fern in there too for a, for a centerpiece, but isn't that, isn't that neat for just a neat, uh, uh, a neat shade basket? So anyway, that is the show for today. I hope that helps. I hope it gives you an idea. Lest it doesn't, I've got an ancient Chinese proverb for you today. Here it is. Uh, think of your faults the first part of the night when you are awake, and the faults of others the latter part of the night when you are asleep. Hope that helps. That's the show for the day. Live your passion. See me around.